Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel here to my uh, portal a vortex of energies here um, okay of ascension we are the ground crew the Astra Galactic Command and uh, of course um, you know connection to Andromeda and the solar Rishi as we are hosting you know the Andromeda is hosting the ascension uh, for humanity um, to help with the transition to the next uh, harmony universe um, to the next octave harmony universe number two right soul connection consciousness expansion to uh realize their soul potential right so that's the fourth dimension uh fifth dimension sixth dimension anyway so and uh you know where the star sees the indigo warriors the galactic warriors you know dealing with the uh power elite right and uh, you know through those dark forces the fallen angelics the dracos you know the negative faction right the alpha especially the alpha draconis and of course the zeta reticula under the Sika empire you know so just kind of cleansing clearing purification right doing the inner work and i again received lots of downloads lots of upgrades you know recalibration and um, let me see uh, I'll be sharing with you some of the pictures and um, of course my protocol and I can even share the message um, that was from Alex Collier 30 years ago he was interviewed um, in uh, Phoenix Arizona by Todd, uh, Ted Loman I think and so just kind of uh, rewriting everything that's uh, already been said um, many times and um, let me see i just wanted to know guys that we are resurrecting our ascension vehicle right and our light body is being activated right through all these plasma ray frequencies right our um, dark matter template the Russia body right is all being um, kind of uh, corrected and so we can embody uh, the eternal spirit self okay through the eternal source okay being in, in inner sustain right being a master of our energies here with a threefold bond of flame right and again these are the blueprints we're going back to the original blueprint of our 12 strands of dna 144 harmonics okay so just kind of letting you know what's been uh, transpiring or what i see in my aura energy field right again it's through my soul signature energy signature so only take what resonates with you and leave the rest here we've been dismantling the red trident right so this well, that was the dark operations right of the dark ssp the deep state right the power elite um of the uh dark fleet right the nazi draco kind of federation right with all these abductions uh you know with their uh dark agenda uh, dark projects you know men in black and then you know this whole dark bomb three letter agencies right um uh, dealing with the Orion group and with the, you know, with the Nephilim, right? The Wisa system with all these implantations, implants, mind control, silent weapons, directed energy weapons, psychotronic weapons, and so on. Wreaking havoc in the Middle East, right? What what in the world, right? And so um, lots of things transpiring, happening, and... Um, this is not an easy time for anybody. So many people are going through uh, lots of, I would say, tribulation challenges. Um, just kind of letting you know that part of the Ascension Protocol is to understand the agenda of those negative aliens, to understand the exopolitics, to understand we're multidimensional beings, to understand that, you know, we, we are psychic, uh, we are... Um, highly evolved souls and this is not natural to live here in this 3d matrix right it's like a prison planet the quarantine kind of zone with the frequency fences of those negative aliens and of course you know the power elite the the cabal the illuminati trading right uh with the um um the, those negative aliens with their highly advanced technologies and um um even trading um you know humans especially children right a galactic uh you know human trafficking going on for uh, millennia actually so this is nothing new on the sun so we need to claim our power back right resurrect all our energies command our space okay and um you know really be of service raising the frequency vibration right doing the inner work also the energy hygiene the shadow work very important right because we all have some kind of trauma drama dogma all this old conditioning we've all been programmed we've all been mind controlled so very important right in order to raise our frequency vibration feel the lightness 
okay uh, we have to take time for ourselves and uh, do some meditation Japa mantra meditation listening to soft video tones you know 12d shielding protection right or we have the salmon shield guys for spiritual warriors you know I'm dealing with the military exposing all kinds of uh, abuse and violence and uh, corruption in the military bases okay here so with all these recruitments it's all going to divine justice everything is under the law of one right and um, what else because everything is accounted for right so are we choosing fear or are we choosing love right and I understand that the free will has been also kind of we've been it's been manipulated we've been blocked uh, from who we truly are um, but yeah, part of the ascension is to unfortunately uh, go through challenges, very difficult situations um, because we've been here dumbed down. We've been d d here uh, in kind of reversals, reverse structure with all these reversals and perversions and dumbing down and horrible chemicals in our food, water, in the air, right? Whether it's the chemtrails and, uh, you know, all this propaganda going on where so many people are whistleblowers or scientists or doctors coming up with cures back then. Let's say the 20th century, beginning of 20th century, Tesla, um, you know, invaded his Tesla towers, right? Uh, with the uh, kind of eternal source, the alternative wave uh, wavelengths. And he lit up Chicago back in 1894. And uh, so we've been uh, kind of uh, here in this battle for quite some times. And then, of course, uh, with the Project Paperclip, uh, so, so many of these Nazis, right, came over here to the United States, infiltrated the entire infrastructure, and then the U.S. Congress, right, the government signing a secret treaties uh, with the Zetas, right, behind the back of Dwight Eisenhower, who was president at that time. And, you know, this whole mafia, right, the black nobility, monarchy, and, uh, you know, the cabal, the power elite, right, kind of, uh, strengthening their structure, their, their hologram through DARPA, you know, through later agencies, right? And just kind of all these AI generated proxy wars with the proxies royal. We're coming here to um, end the cycle, right? Those are the spiritual warriors, indigo warriors, the contract uh, three. Okay, also had the Rishi agreement as well. And, you know, it, it's a multidimensional, inter, interdimensional, extra-dimensional uh, process. Okay, um, this this is a, this is a complex situation. So, again, only take what resonates with you, leave the rest. I guess I wanted to show you more stuff. Okay, so let's do military. Okay, because, you know, for me, it's like the military section, right? Healing the um, actually the seraphim race, the gold, um, the angelic, um, uh, the angelic order of the uh, of the gold order. Okay, those who were high-ranking military officers, they are appointed. I mean, the hybrid Anunnaki Nazi played in faction, infiltrated, you know, by the you know the Dracos, you know, the Orion group, the Sikra Empire, also the Nephilim and the Omicron Necromitans. So uh, the the digression of the Elohim, right? Elohim Elohai is just huge, right? And so they were also all uh, the seedings of humanity that uh, were interbred uh, with actually with the Christos lineages, right? The royalty, uh, the Christos founder races. But unfortunately, if there was a glitch or problem, the master raider races came and just totally um, kind of impinged or just kind of, uh, if, you know, there was a glitch, they always came and uh, came with more wars and more desecration and falling down in consciousness even degradation of these angelic races and now we're dealing with the fallen angelics right the black sun with the black sun entities operations right on moon mars um let me see if i show you the trident that's what we yeah anyway uh, and um, and then you know we have the Orion, the Dracos, all these uh, digressive kind of factions, right? The infiltrated aura energy field, and of course this space, the dodecahedron, um, that's the platonic solids, and uh, so they need rehabilitation of their DNA, of their hologram. They all this deprogramming needs to happen, rewiring of their subconscious mind, right? And has to do also with my soul group who ended up in, you know, joining military, you know, fighting for this country and so on. You know, they have kind of that Nazi 
uh, you know, um, lineages, right? The power elite lineages with the reversals in their DNA ended up in terroristic organizations and wreaking havoc in the Middle East, right? Because they're just the walking AI, you, you know, the initiation is like uh, being raped and being tortured, right? Being implanted, even their genitals, you know, running reversals, but they're of that Christos lineages, right? Like I said, they're aura infiltrated. They ended up in the electrostatic bodies, okay, with all these you know, crucifixion implants, right? Uh, let me see. I have it right here, right? So that's kind of that's kind of even, uh, my story, guys. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. You know, just kind of finding myself in black goo with tears and holes in my energy field. I was supposed to be like the super marine or super soldier or whatever. Okay, they're assassin kind of, right? And, um, you know, because they have highly developed technology, Zeta technology, right, Black Hole technology, uh, anti-Eurogaming technology, the Red Cube technology, Black Cube technology, the Red Wave weaponry, psychotronic weapons, directed energy weapons. I mean, you know, they, their technology is hundreds, hundreds, even thousand years in the future, right? And, um, you know, this whole DARPA, this with the DARPA and the Astro Galactic Command, there's an agreement, right? I'm working on the project. Um, just to kind of heal the entire timeline of all these constant wars, right? And all this destruction, devastation, pollution, and enslavement of humanity and of transhumanism, transgenderism. This all surfacing, right, is coming to the light and it needs to be exposed. We're exposing them and it needs to be acknowledged. It needs to be accepted, right? And uh, through the, the project that I've been working on, uh, we need to make a difference. We need to heal. We need to transform. We have to do all this correction, right? Whether inwardly in our aura energy field, in our mind, you know, claim our power back, you know, the resurrection of our soul, but also doing the difference, you know, outside instead of, you know, all these death camps and so on. We're building the yoga centers, you know, meditation centers and gardens, you know, and so on. We're my soul group or whoever is choosing like you know the especially the warrior nature where they can um heal <laughs> they can rehabilitate their uh, dna their hologram right they need to be deprogrammed and so on and they can start feeling their true divine nature right because some of uh, of these guys who ended up right um in those terroristic organizations carrying the agenda of those negative uh, aliens, they're of that Christos lineages, they're of the Melchizedek order, they're of that Rose line lineages, right? I mean, you know, they're, they're part of now of the Cabal structure, they're the Illuminati, right? And, uh, you know, it's a very, uh, very difficult, uh, kind of difficult situation for uh, all of us, right? Whether humanity, you know, the cabal, right? The, the ruling class, the controllers, the black sun entities, the sons of Balalel, right? And then, of course, we're dealing with the um, the Dracos, the negative, you know, the negative aliens, or the Zeta Reticuli, you know, with the uh, reptilians and... Um, you know the seeker empire and so on so this is a complex operation right the ascension star wars or Tr star trek is almost nothing compared to what is now transpiring ha happening on this planet which is multi-dimensional right we see things differently everybody has their own hologram that's why i um kind of uh, again talk about my uh, guardian ascension project including the quantum manifestation right channeled by hybrids uh, or my marina jacobi the information from the hybrids how we're exiting this matrix exiting this computer simulation right how we're aligning with the law of one aligning our chakras right raising our frequency vibration going from carbon-based dna into crystal crystalline dna right drinking distal water eating superfood, you know, listening to sulfidiotones, 12D shielding, okay, uh, PTSD time to heal, uh, eight steps of yoga, right, yoga Ayurveda, that's my background, so we can finally free ourselves from this mind control, free ourselves from this matrix and create this new earth paradigm, right, and, you know, the, and, and, you know, creating this bright future that, uh, we all deserve this is our birthright that's why we're implementing the galactic codex right we have the the right for ascension for abundance for liberation to knowing our cosmic galactic history okay and to reunite with our galactic uh, star family and you know here we go uh you know i have to, i have to work on that project in order for me to unite reunite with my soul family 
my soul siblings, even on that, those are on a monadic level. So, you know, there's the seven, eight and nine dimension, you know, the, I am bringing the structure to them because, you know, they're part of the elite and they were serving the agenda of those negative uh, aliens. And you see the footages of Julian Assange there, right? And uh, so lots of corrections. And of course, not everybody's choosing it. And even among humanity, right? Uh, you know, we need to choose love. Even Alex Collier, right, 30 years ago and so on, he was talking about the agenda of those negative aliens. He was talking about the new world order. And for humanity was pretty much to choose love, to create bright future where children, our children, have the opportunity to live in a clean environment, clean nature, peacefully, abundantly, right, with free energy, no more radiation, no more retaliation because war begets war right because those negative aliens they were feeding off of our energy they're playing they were playing games with us mocking us terrorizing us and you know so we're stuck in this fear-based consciousness but you know humanity uh true nature is peace it's love having communities and unities with ets you know with uh free energy uh healing technology this is all now available and that's where we are heading moving toward towards those, of course, who are choosing peace, who are choosing to align with the law of one, who are responsible for their thoughts, uh, deeds, and actions, for their emotions, right? You know, what is your hologram, right? I mean, why did you come here to this planet? What is your mission? What are your gifts and talents that you can share with others and be of service? And so, you know, everybody needs to answer to this, right? Everybody's now, uh, you know, responsible and everything is counted for. So, you know, fake it till you make it. And, you know, all these like, oh, whether there's UFO or not UFO and, you know, this U.S. Congress. Look at the consciousness of these individuals who are in, in the government, right? Or just look at the, the whatever happened, you know, in Maui, right? With those fires there and look at those officials. Look at their aura energy field. Those who listen to their intuition, right? Those people are alive. They escape. Those who kind of listen to FEMA and, you know, the shadow government, the deep state. They ended up in miserable situations. Some of them even lost their lives and so many children missing. And, you know, their underground military bases in Maui, Kauai, right? Uh, you know, it is everywhere. In order to ascend, guys, very important to understand the agenda of those negative aliens, you know, exopolitics, right? Mechanics of ascension, right? And start feeling your energies, your intuition, real multidimensional beings, you know, we just, we live in this 3D ego personality matrix, right? People are working hard, uh, you know, watching TV, you know, I'm, I'm sure, you know, I'm it's be like beautiful have families but look what is happening to these children right with all this weather indoctrination or those who have diamond sun dna how you know that um you know so many children even receiving this and guys in the military do you know how many of this they received and especially those for those dark projects right who are part of this red trident that is collapsing right um they they receive you know those uh, you know ccp jabs with the kind of hydra you know snake uh venom there and uh, totally uh, poison their uh, diamond um, sun christic um, you know as seen uh, dna and so that's why i have the project for their rehabilitation you know for their ascension for their healing for restoration of their consciousness um, you know and kind of uh, helping them to heal um the reversals so I expanding, there's a project, you know, ending uh, sex misery, right, in MC, uh, in the military, because that's very prevalent, you know, those are the, what is the serpents of the nations, you can see even, you know, the serpents, some of them, you know, I mean, uh, the Hyksos, the Leviathans, the Thothians in a government, you know, high-ranking military officers, right, uh, politicians, you know, White House, Pentagon, you know, with their dark fleet, I mean, this is all, we're in 4D, guys, it's all about tuning in, feeling how people are acting reacting what they are saying I mean if you are doing the inner work you know like if you have your minds been purified your mind merging with your heart heart center right uh, you have downloads from your soul from your over soul you feel your beloved presence that you can read things like on a computer screen screen and you know who is who right and again here we're naming not naming anybody for me the ascension is also a path of self rediscovery a path of um you know expanding our consciousness and remembering who we truly are and all these uh, people want to prove and all these confirmations kingdom of heaven is within you 
all these proofs all these documents about ufo and even whistleblowers so many of them are not alive right you can fill up like you have now the blue book project you can fill up all these paperwork right and probably the highest skyscraper in new york manhattan will not be enough all the books all the evidence right i mean all the footages and everything i mean there's so much paperwork so much documentation it's all about tuning in doing meditation doing the inner work like i said it's good to do research good to have the information on the external outside um world but remember all the answers to to our questions are within us right the kingdom of heaven is within us even uh, alex collier uh, saying choosing love right choosing peace that's the true nature of uh, of the uh, angelic divine luminous beings the lyrans right the lyra right the cradle of the human uh, civilization that started billions of years ago but unfortunately Stargate D12 Amartena blew up because of the Orions, right? The Orion group, you know, all this invasion, infiltration, uh, extremely highly advanced uh, with extremely high advanced technology in their AI. And so this being now transpiring in this timeline, right? In this kind of current events, right? And, um, you know, people are waking up to all these, um, let's say, horrible things. But, you know, it's part of the, you know, the shedding of that uh, shadow right um transforming it uh, uh the dark night of the soul and on that you know whether individual level collective level planetary level right we're dealing with the we're dealing with the universal shadow guys okay and uh, we're hold, holding the sacred space for you you know that kind of container where everybody can really those who are the truth seekers who are really serious about ascension who are really you know they're choosing love and they want you know prosperity not only for themselves for others uh they they're praying they're really in their hearts and they're loving their animals and they want to go back to nature and have a simple uh you know natural life we are here holding the containers for all those right so so ascension is guaranteed right plus you know as uh, andromeda is hosting this ascension but anyway, I have I uh, expanding uh, expanded on this uh, uh, body work of mine, right? Ending the sexual misery in MC because of the Satanism and how um, the consciousness, the soul of my soul group of those Marines were under the control of the lunar forces, right? The Batman network, you know, the the whole trident kind of structure, right? You have Pluto 10D, and of course you have 11D. That was the Stonehenge infiltrated that portal there. By by those negative aliens with their uh gray alien gray technology and so on so it's time to heal right from all these hybridization trauma clearing the wounds of christ because all these crucifixion implants um you know that were inserted um uh through um all these uh, secret initiations right secret societies skull and bones right uh, Mace, masonic kind of stuff that inverted uh, version right even their sexual energy perverted and poison right through all these sex rituals or um, satanism and through pedophilia and through raping and torture and so on so there's lots of cleansing clearing that needs to happen demagnetizing the past uh, timelines right there is uh, also protocol for that blueprint correction for the fallen tree of life guys so let me see the fallen tree of life let me see am i going to find it like you know you ended up in that um yeah this is the embodied fallen so everything uh so on ascension glossary or uh, energetic synthesis lisa renee she has all these um you just 11 dollars so or 22 dollars you know all these meditations all these audio there where you can finally start, uh, start you know, start healing this this kind of the blood goo around you, the ele the electrostatic bodies, right? Get your energy flowing, um, uh, flowing and and uh, jiving and so on. I do it through chanting, right? Japa mantra meditation, you know, getting your chakras uh, going, your your chakra columns, shushumna, right? Uh, you have the central column going, cleansing, clearing, and so on, right? Because, you know, we've been infiltrated in, invaded, not only like through space outside, but also uh, aura because through drugs, they put them on drugs and then all these, 
infiltration and all these chips and inserts right there in their uh, astral body again it happened to me i'm just talking through my you know through my direct experiences right how they crack your skull they crack the back of your um the back of uh, that's the um the spine so they can then to get into your cerebral fluids and get you implanted as well right i mean this is total abomination this is all going to divine justice this is all under the law of one this is not happening right this this kind of initiations kind of recruitments being the dark avatar serving those negative aliens especially through star seeds and light workers who have the uh, um the dna the diamond uh sun dna and so on um justice will be served right that's why you know i have the project uh, it's uh the emerald order emerald covenant cosmic sovereign law and so we're healing right the uh, mind control the alien hybridization and um, you know all these uh, alien implants the nanotechnology right um you know abuse and sexual abuse so you know this is kind of how we are rolling right so in order to move forward we need to acknowledge you know this red wave frequency and psychotronic weapons and so on so we need to acknowledge all that and um you know move to the next dimension so anyway the light body guys through, through these you know exercises and everything that what i went through what is happening now we're activating our light body our cosmic actually cosmic spirit eternal light body through you know um, shifting this the, the magnetic field right is shifting or, or weakening the density is less and less right and um, that's why all this plasma plasma free the gamma ray frequency is coming online okay and it's pretty much working it's working uh on our dna aura energy field our emotional body our mental body right um provided we are claiming our power back resurrecting our energies commanding our space doing the inner work meditation i have the guardian essential protocol right with 12d shielding listening to soul physio town ptsd time to heal okay eight steps of yoga okay aligning with the law of one so everything is available where, where they're healing you know recalibration getting back online so where the christos uh as seen uh the christos warriors the warriors in christ right the defenders of truth and divine justice so just letting you know the updates the upgrades like everything is pretty much available um everything is possible through christ right uh, so we have the on body uh, restoration of the mother arc and father arc, right? Yeah, you get everything fine ascension glossary and everything, right? The eternal life, the eternal spiritual body is all being restored, uh, recalibrated. Um, so, you know, uh, of course, we're the, the solar dragons here, okay? And um, anyway, the, tem the Templar stealer, right? That's about the Templars, right? So from the dark uh, Luciferian, kind of the dark agenda of the Templars and all this Jesuit kind of, right? The, the Anunnaki and so on. We're going back and resurrecting the Christos as seen lineages and, you know, resurrecting the Emerald Order, Emerald Covenant, right? Very important, right? And also the Fleur, Fleur de Lis. All this symbology, whether of the Pleiadians, the Victorians, the Adromanans, and so uh, the negative ones, they infiltrated, right? The the Essenes, they infiltrated, you know, the secret society of the positive faction connected to this, uh, you know, um, to the Himalaya, to the Sol Rishi, Sol Rishi consciousness, right? So um, I've been telling you, I've been reading the book. Where is my book? All right? Uh, my, uh, teachings, Madame Blavatsky, it's all being resurrected because the um what's it the archons right uh alex even said that the book was not written by god the bible was not written by god he alex collier 30 years ago was saying so many truths like so much like all these i mean i'm just shocked 1994 interviewed right but what i wanted to say um you know the guru is within you the kingdom of heaven is within you right doing the inner work but oh yeah the negative aliens the orion group right uh the anunnaki who actually totally betrayed human they betray themselves because now they're the fallen angelics right you guys you betrayed yourself because you start 
um, dealing with the um, the Orion group, who also hand in hand with the We Cell system and other fallen matrix, the Nemicron, Omicron, the, you know the Nephilim, and so on. So you know that's what happened, guys. When they want to rule the world, right? Whether the Anunnaki, the Nemurian, and so on. And now the Dracos are on top of them, right? Because back then, billions of years ago, the Elohim, right? They kind of wanted to get rid of the Dracos. They kind of didn't consider them angelic enough because they already look weird, right? Even with the reptilians. And that's why they digressed, you know, um, the Elohim to Anu Elohim. And now you have the Anunnaki because then the fall of Nibiru. I mean, there's a cosmic galactic history, guys. It can take you days, weeks just to study all that. And of course, we need to integrate it and embody that. So it's a huge, big galactic history behind this. But that's what happens when you wish death or you know, that's black magic, guys. When you wish pain to others, right? You know, humanity. There's humanity of goodwill and there's also a humanity of a not goodwill. There are ETs, right? There are aliens, right? ETs with a positive faction, even their AI technology helping us with essential. And then you have the negative ETs or the negative aliens with their highly advanced technology. They want to rule the entire planet, right? And all this destruction, contamination and creating robots out of us, right? So that's another agenda. So very important to be aware information it's light right and so that's how we increase our light quotient when we understand when we're in the know we're in the now we can make better decisions and you know make appropriate um uh, like i said decisions and actions right and uh you know, either free ourselves from that slavery, from the bondage, or be part of that metaverse, be part of that, you know, uh, negative uh, agenda uh, structure, right? This is now up to each of us. But uh, like I said, we're holding the container, like we're the column of light shining bright, and every one of us individually is choosing, right? Uh, last time I talked about like the second coming of Christ and Alex is talking the same thing. Staying in your heart and stand up for yourself and choose peace. No more, um, you know, violence, right? And wishing somebody death. That's not the way to go. So the great invocation from the point of light within the mind of God. Let light stream forth into the minds of man. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. Of course, the solar dragons, right? From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out. And may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth being in our heart structure right quantum manifestation guys deprogramming rewiring the subconscious mind you know prayers chanting helping each other you know that's how we make a difference so i don't know whether i finished um let me see the healing hybridization trauma that's what those guys and i have the ascension protocol for indigo warriors for my soul group in a military right Ending the sex misery, all these sex games, and make sure the girl has an apartment, right? And then, of course, they're infiltrating them, and they're also, uh, what you know, those guys are full of parasites, I'm sorry, full of entities, right? Addictions on steroids and, and things like that. And those are highly advanced souls, yeah, like all that, the Christos lineages, Melchizedek order, uh, Rose line lineages, uh, it's unbelievable. So, but it's time to clear uh, the wounds of Christ because of the crucifixion implants, right? And all these chips in occipital lobe were you know they ended up in electrostatic bodies because that's how you channel you're open uh, you're open to cosmic energies with those chips and implants they kind of they close the circuitry you know the meridians are blocked that's why they have all kinds of problems and dissociation horrible ptsd right uh, time to demagnetize the past timeline so we can move forward right the blueprint correction for the fallen tree okay uh, because like I said those guys ended up in in the electrostatic bodies and we have the onk uh, eternal uh, spiritual body coming online okay and the crystal infusion of eight fetal cells so those uh, guys who got raped right and um, the Moloch tank and they have the soul binding right with those high-ranking military officers whether you know you have the um, 
you know, they were in CIA, in DARPA, right? Uh, some of them are humans, non-humans, and so on, guys. You have to clear the coxic area. The Kundalini, right? It needs to be Kundalini rising. We have the goddess energy, Kundalini rising, goddess energy, removal of the false Kundalini snake, right? You can find everything here, ending the sex misery, soul contract revocation, um, you know, and those uh, contracts with those archons, right? With the Chimera group, um, uh, with the... Um, uh, those the the Nephilims, the black magicians, right? The, they were hooked. Those guys, you guys, you were hooked to the Nephilim reversal break. We have the Ascension timelines. We have the uh, Diamond Sun, Chris Crystal, Human Heart uh, Grid, right? Thanks to grid workers and Star Gates, and uh, you know those who were doing the uh, the grid work. Okay, I've been just assisting with all that because you know we depend on the planetary body, the new Merkaba, right? And so we can heal our ascension vehicle also uh, from within, right? Uh, building the quotient, uh, the light quotient, building the momentum, right? Being that energy of love, of unconditional love. So we can free ourselves from the matrix, right? Release the negativity, right? All this miasma, the black goo and so on. Like I said, everything is possible. So I expanded all that. Also, you can study the Red Cube Egyptian Pantheon. That was the invasion, of course, of the ancient Egypt. Uh, the Giza portal, right? The, the Illuminati, the power elite called themselves Giza intelligence and all this stuff, you know. And just like the um, same thing, you know, the Cabal and the U.S. Congress, like very, it's very uh, seductive. I would say that like they want the advanced technology. They want to travel to the moon and Mars. Humanity wants that as well, right? But first, like... Um, Dolores Cannon was saying we need to work on our shadow. We need to release ourselves from all these baggages. Timelines after timelines, you know, the Lemurian Holocaust, the Atlantean cataclysm, abuse, misuse of highly advanced technology. So this is all continuing, right? For those guys in the military, all the sex games, all those ladies who were involved with the Marines or so on, the Jenny Code Crasher. You can study that Ascension Glossary. So I ended up a couple of uh, vocabulary here, and we are resurrecting the architecture of King Arthur's hologram. And um, do I have the, um, let me see, I don't want to, I need to finish this. But we have the Salmon Shield. Where are, you, where are you, the Salmon Shield? I cannot find it right now, but we have the Salmon Shield. Oh my goodness. And here, oh, here we go. Or is the 12 the shielding? So because it's time for the warriors in Christ to rise up and make the difference. Okay? And that's why I have the project for DARPA, for the military. It's galactic. It's cosmic. Right? And we need to correct everything that was done in the Middle East. You can see the footages for Julian Assange, what the U.S. was doing in the Middle East. That all needs to be embraced, acknowledged, and healed. We have the Galactic Codex. So accepting the Galactic Codex, the Law of One, the Law of Grace, extremely important, right? And we have the solar synthesis going on as well. You can Google that, study that, because from that lunar, right, we are going into solar. Uh, those were the lunar forces, you know, the demonic entities there, the Bethlehem network, right? The false magnetism on moon with all these military bases, all these military operations going on with their satellites, right? And of course on Mars as well. And the Trident, right? Of course with the Trident, uh, those guys either went to Saturn, the military bases on Saturn, on Pluto, and... Uh, you know, of course, they also, they even infiltrate, they're blocking us from, from sun, right? They even put a, a black cube technology in the core of Mother Earth, Mother Nature, but it's all weird. This disassembling, everything is, it's uh, crumbling, guys. Their system, gal their galactic system is crumbling. This huge, there was a huge big operation, right? For all the star seeds and um, you know the uh, indigo warriors and volunteer souls who kind of came here to pretty much uh, um, end this entire cycle of this nonsense and of course we have the artificial satellite the moon right and all this stuff so guys um, there's a good news 
uh, you know, this we know, like we know who you are, where you are, right? The Arsha Galactic Command, the Andromeda Council, you know, the Solar Rishi, because you know the consciousness of the solar cosmic dragons, right? They're coming here online because of the stargates opening, the galactic stargates opening, right? Uh, we are resurrecting the organic structure of the planetary grid. So we are also resurrecting the organic structure of our DNA, of our consciousness, of our light body. So there's a good news, but the transformational work needs to happen, right? Doing the inner work and transformational work, the Guardian Ascension Protocol, guys. So, you know, it's on my website, yanakalai.com. And again, take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. And I'll talk to you next time. Many blessings and namaste.